This video is going to use the built with tool to analyze a website and talk a little bit about the technologies that are used uh, to explain them in layman's terms and to um, kind of break down the different services, tools, and functions that that website uses um, that may be giving it a competitive advantage or that just gives us more information on to what's um, actually being employed on that site. So first we're going to use a tool called built with <clears throat> and in this example we're going to analyze take a look at uh, a website called smart passive income you might be familiar with it all right so uh, this built with tool has already generated us a report on what's being used on that website i'm just going to go down uh, through the list here and kind of talk on a few of these points just in case you don't know what they are uh, this will make more sense. So web server, the first thing it's telling me is that it's uh, NGINX, which is just kind of a background platform that um, a lot of servers run to host websites. Not really applicable in this instance. It's pretty par for course, normal, nothing to take away from that. The SSL certificate uh, is pretty interesting because it shows that it's using Cloudflare. Um, which means it's a secure website. Stuff that you put into the forms on the website are secure. You could use the forms on the site to put in credit card information, stuff like that, and it would be secure. So it just kind of shows you the level that they've taken their site to. Um, you also see Cloudflare a few other times for name servers, hosting provider. Um, so it's very clear that they like the service called Cloudflare. They use it for their website. Um, Cloudflare also acts as a, uh, a content network so that when people visit the website, uh, it loads very quickly. And we'll probably see that later down on the line. Um, so we're seeing that show up a few times here for hosting and, and name server. Now they may actually use a different website host, but, but since they use, because they use Cloudflare, it's showing here. Um, can't trust the service 100, 100, 100%, um, but it's still a very good pulse on what's being used email services it says google apps for business so this is able to tell us go out and get information about this domain that you could um you know you could uh, surmise that the emails at smart passive income are getting checked with uh, gmail or google apps so that might be applicable to you if you're seeing what kind of back-end tools they use um, or if you wanted to speak to them and be able to relate to them <clears throat> uh, the owner of smart passive income is actually pat flynn um, and uh, you know you could start up a conversation with them and assume that he already knows a lot about Google Apps because it looks like his business runs on it. Content management system, it tells us if it's using WordPress or not, which is great. Frameworks, PHP, that's a framework that WordPress uh, uses to run itself. Frameworks usually has some technical stuff in here. This may or may not give you something that's you know, applicable. Advertising, this is interesting. So this means they've taken some sort of action to um, advertise on the website somewhere uh, and these are the different services that kind of pop up so a lot of times you have to add code to your site um, this is looking for those codes and then implementing that and telling us that those different things are being used so that's pretty interesting analytics and tracking so this is pretty interesting if you want to know what your competitors or peers are using for um, different tracking tools so that they can get analytics on their own site. This is pulling up a whole lot of information, which is interesting. So this means that Pat has used uh, Crazy Egg, which usually gives you an image map of things. Uh, I'm not sure what all of them do here. I, Clicky is familiar, but I forget that. Um, Google Analytics, Twitter Analytics. So that's interesting. You get to see what, what they're using there for tracking. JavaScript, that's, uh, those are just uh, programming scripts that it's finding here. Some of these may make sense. Some of them might not. <clears throat> As we continue down audio video media so it, we can see that there's some YouTube's videos on here there's a media element so there's some sort of media sitting on their website it may remind you make you think hmm I may need some video uh, there's the content delivery network that I was mentioning before so Cloudflare and it looks like a few others are used widgets so these looks like pieces of code that are brought in from other sites so we see the Facebook uh, like box it looks like there's some specialized fonts from Google font um, PowerPress that's a WordPress uh, plugin I believe for podcasting it says right there podcasting plugin so we know that there's a podcast um, on this site promoted possibly on the site as well so a lot of different things you're saying wow that do, they do a lot um, some cash there's forms running on their site um, 
aggregation functionality that's uh, what other sites are used to kind of ping uh, or pull together different assets on that site so we can see RSS ping back here document information this is going to be technical uh, information telling us what document types um, or web page types are seen on that page not too applicable for comparing us same thing for encoding uh, and CSS media queries. These are kind of technical uh, functions of the site on how they piece together things. May not be very applicable for comparisons. Um, another content uh, provider here. So a lot of different stuff with helping the site load quickly, you can see there. So that's the end of that. Just gives you some background, some explanation on what you find here so you can search up other sites, competitors, peers in, um, you know your audience and market niche and start to figure out what's being used there and then ask yourself what could i also be using or implementing uh, that would help me out